We have with us today, uh, joining us, uh, AFP spokesperson Colonel Francel Margaret Padilla. On the line, magandang umaga po sa inyo, Colonel. Magandang umaga po, magandang umaga po sa inyo, pagkakasin. Yes, Colonel, thank you for joining us today. Ano po ba yung latest sa issue na ito? Talaga po bang uh, meron tayong audio recording? Nasa inyong mga kamay, meron po ba kayong kopya nito? Well, for the part of the AFP, ma'am, no? We do not wish to dignify the propaganda of China anymore. No? Mm -hmm. So we do not wish to further discuss this. Then let's just focus on the real issue at hand. This is their actions on the West Philippine Sea. Eh, kung sinasabi nilang transcript, ay questionable pa po, no? Yung authenticity nito, or if it is publicated, for all we know po, the telephone conversation in question might even be a big risk. Pero po, kayo po ba, meron po kayong knowledge personally or as, your, um, as an official, as a spokesperson sa AFP, may, na, may narinig na po ba kayong ganitong audio recording na sinasabi? Um, for us, ma'am, no, we do not react on unsubstantiated, unverified, and questionable sources. Yes, uh, Colonel, if uh, you don't act on uh, sources, how po natin maimbestigahan at least man lang yung mm -hmm. source nitong... Uh, Uh, supposed audio recording para mapigilan po ang uh, uh, maulit ang ganitong uh, sitwasyon? Ang sinasabi nga po natin po, no, there are more pressure, pressing challenges at hand. This is to clear things the propaganda from China to create this unity within us no, sa mm -hmm. ating bansa. So sana po hindi na natin palakihan ito at ang pag-usapan na lang natin are the real Siguro, Colonel, hindi naman po sa pagpapalaki ng issue. We just want naman accountability. Just in case na yun nga sinasabi nila, hindi ito totoo nga at baka may possibility deepfake. At least matugunan natin ito ng maayos at ma-prove din natin. Kasi this is an international issue, no? And there are other people na nanonood at nakikinig sa atin at may mga ganitong narrative. So we just want to know also yung accountability nung yung gumawa po nito. That's why we're asking kung meron po ba kayong knowledge personally, narinig nyo po itong audio na to. At kung how are we going to investigate on this? Paano po natin malalaman, mapuprove sa public na ito pong audio na sin audio recording na sinasabi ng China ay illegitimate or hindi po siya uh, legit? Kaya nga po, no, ang ating question po, ma'am, nagsalita na po ukol dito. So, sana po, maliwanagan po nyo at ang mga kawang bayan sa totoong risi dito. Uh, pawang propaganda ito, ito, designed to create this unity among us. Huwag pong talaga po ka, na meron itong nangyari, according to our SMB, eh, meron pong panagpapang po ang opisyalya ng Chinese Embassy dito. Hmm. Meron po ba tayo mga suggestion kay uh, Pangulong Bongbong uh, Marcos uh, para po ma-address itong mga issue ng mga umanoy uh, uh, gentleman sa agreement? Um, sa atin po sa Armed Forces of the Philippines, uh, we remain na professional organization. We follow po the chain of command. This mm -hmm. is actually headed by mm -hmm. our commander-in-chief, the President of the Philippines. So, so kung ano po ang kanyang call order for the AFP, We will abide accordingly po as the AOC treat the people and protect our state po and our sovereignty. Nagkaroon po kasi ng kulay ano, na uh, right after masabi ng China na meron pong official ng AFP involved doon sa sinasabi ng allegedly audio recording, meron pong nag-leave. Yun po ay si AFP Western Command Chief Alberto Carlos. No? Uh, what can you say about this? Ano po, ba, ano po yung rason ng kanyang uh, uh, leave? Uh, kailan po siya babalik? Mauna po sa lahat. Uh, wala po ang any personnel o official po ng armed forces na meron pong ano no meron pong right to create eh, ano po any agreement with any other entity sa so, ganito pong usapin which is uh, involving national security overall po ang president lang po ang pwede makipag-agree sa right. ganitong mga uh, terms no so hindi po yan pwede by sinipo sa amin kay Colonel and kay Vice Admiral Carlos naman po, let us respect po his decision. He filed, uh, he filed on three days. Mm -hmm. 
yun pong uh, nag-assume uh, comments at uh, akin ang pinaka-profit he was uh, ano pa, installed in six days. So, nakapag-leave na pretty Admiral Carlos bago pa po lumapas itong sinasabi ng China na uh, Recording like that. Okay. Uh, Colonel, lastly, I'd like to take this opportunity for today is uh, the last day mm -hmm. of uh, Balikatan exercises. Uh, and I, uh, I understand si General Bronner is attending that also. Ano po ang mangyayari today? And ano po ang uh, assessment uh, natin or AFP as a whole with regards to this, uh, one of the largest Balikatan uh, exercises ever? Opo, sure. No? Nandito nga po tayo ngayon. Uh, ongoing po ang mga Placing ceremony, mm -hmm. no, meron pong mga pronouncements itong mga, uh, itong ating mga ex-Mess uh, Ronald po. Nandito po si SND ngayon at ang um, ambassador po ng US, na si Ambassador Carlos. Yes. So, um, with the closing po, no, um, pinahalagahan po natin no, itong cooperation between like-minded nations. So, this mm -hmm. is one of the biggest barricans po, no, with 16,000 attendees. Mm -hmm. And a lot of participants din po from other nations. So may 14 like-minded nations tayo who were observed. And meron din po tayong participation directly po no, ng France, Australia. Uh, uh, yan po, over and above sa US and the North. So may mga uh, mga com commendable remarks po ang ating Sipok Tap, ang ating SMB. Ang uh, binigay nga po na yun, ang uh, Ang last word po ni SND po, no, mm. sa kanyang piece, no amount of malign or perfect attempt to subvert our goal mm -hmm. to an open and free into Pacific can deter us from pursuing our mission. All right. Uh, with that, thank you very much, AFP spokesperson Colonel Francel Margaret Padilla, for joining us and for your time on Here on Brunch. Maraming salamat po at mabuhay po kayo.